Right, so we are here at Hochanda welcoming yet another incredible brand new supplier. This is amazing. It is pouring beautifully with amazing mediums. And we have got, well, the name of the company is 35 Design Space. And we have got Dina, the woman behind the company here in the studio. Hello, Aya. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm very well. Very here. excited by what you are bringing to us today because they are pouring mediums. Yes. And they are beautiful. Yes, they work really great with soft bodied acrylics. They dry beautifully um, and matte. Now, Dina, uh, we were chat chat chatting before uh, the, the show and you were telling me how you teach as well. Yes, um, so we started um, doing workshops. We have a studio space at home and we run classes for the public, small sizes. Um, we do paint pouring workshops was where we started. Um, candle making and also paper marbling and there's more on the way. Also, now one of the things is that you were mentioning is that your background, it was in textile design? Yes, that was what I studied. I've always had a love for fabrics, um, but also art. Um, my course was very arts and creativity based, so I really specialised in those. I'm not a natural drawer, painter, so I always went for the abstract pieces and I loved paint pouring. And so when you started 35 Design a Space, uh, did you had in mind that it would become what it is become? Not <laughs> at all. Um, it started as a little hobby. We would run small classes for um, friends and some family and then it grew bigger and we had people from the public coming and joining us and creating beautiful pieces. Um, and it was very popular, everyone loves it. It's always a social space as well as a creative space. And this, we also were talking about how, uh, you know, it has got uh, appeal for both the genders, right? So yes. across the genders. You don't need to have um, born creativity to do this. You can't go too far wrong at all. I'll be showing you a few different techniques um, to get some beautiful results, but you can't go too far wrong at all. They always look stunning. It does, and then now uh, we are going to start with the first kit. In this one, you are getting a, well, it's a starter kit, isn't yes. it? Yes. So we get a canvas. Yep, it's an A3 canvas and a 250 ml bottle of our pouring medium, and also a small 10 milliliter bottle of silicone oil. Um, and it's everything you'll need to cover that one canvas. You just need to add some paint to what that. What do we need the silicone medium for? So the silicone is what we add to the paint and it gives you all the beautiful cells and little droplets in the canvases. It's what gives you all of that detail, particularly the orange one that you've got oh, coming okay, out. I'll show that one there. All of that detail that. comes from the silicone and it really helps the paints interact with one another. Um, on the canvas and that's how you get those beautiful now, results. am I right to thinking that of course you have got the medium, the pouring medium yes. and the silicone oil. Do we need, uh, what sort of acrylic paint do we need to put in? A soft bodied acrylic paint. At the workshop we use um, the PBO yeah. studio acrylics, the soft bodied ones. They all work beautifully. Um, I'm going to be showing you one of the metallic ones which you can see in a few of the canvases. Once they're Perfect. dry, look stunning. Fabulous. Now, your starter kit, the canvas that you have got here, A3, the oil, silicone oil, as well as the medium, the pouring medium. 10% of the stock already gone. Uh, 327241 is your item number. £14.99 as well. It's a very affordable price. Maybe you want to try something new. Maybe you're thinking, well, you want to explore even more the pouring techniques. Then we have got here, uh, you know, we have got a bumper pack I would say because here you are getting two liters of the paint pouring medium and two of the 10 ml silicone oil remember that's for to create those amazing cells that you can be see in some of the artwork I mean that one is incredible yeah that one's a beautiful I love that one that one's a great kit as well if you wanted to be doing larger size canvases because you're going to be want needing a lot more pouring medium. Now, can I ask you a question for instance, especially yes. this kit? Do I need to use a canvas or can I use an MDF a surface? Um, MDF works well if you can gesso prime it. Uh, yeah. um, canvases are brilliant to start on, canvas board as well. Um, 
just needs to be a solid surface more than anything. Perfect. If it's paper or card, it's going to be too flimsy. Right. And yeah. it won't be able you to need, hold yeah. your paint. So you need something solid, something that is going to hold at that pouring medium all under the acrylic paint. £27.99 for a D2 litre paint pouring medium, as well as a two bottles of 10 ml of the silicone oil. 20% of the stock has already gone. It's going to be a busy show. So jump ahead and check out your baskets. However, we do are going to show you as well the picture of the one liter bottle because we do have got that option if you just want one liter paint pouring medium by 35 design space you'll get instructions as well of course you do 14 pounds and 99 pence is the price 533928 is your item number now maybe you are like me and you like a complete kit a completionist like you are like i call it now you wanted of several different sizes canvases and you want also your pouring medium your silicone oil but also you are getting here a cups that I believe one of them is a little bit different isn't yes, it? Yes one of them is a little bit special it's got holes in the bottom of it um, and that's perfect for one of the techniques that I'm going to show you. Perfect so imagine that you have got everything you need uh, except the uh, acrylic paint that of course you, you put your that for yourself. Uh, 44 pounds and 99 pence uh, you are getting five different canvases here so we kind of going to go through the different sizes you're getting an A4 I believe. Um, it's just larger than A4 it's about a 33 by 24. Okay so that's a slightly further. Then we have got here that one is 18 by 24 18. there's two of those and then two of those ones and then you're getting two of the square ones 20 by 20 so a eight by eight sort of yes, inches. Eight, yeah. by eight. eight by eight that also this kit has got a flexible option that means that you can spread the cost in two interest-free payments of 22 pounds and 50 pence nine one three five three four is your item number and 10 percent of the stock has already gone grab your secure it by checking out those baskets right shall we get a started and getting some pouring done. Awesome, yes. Okay, take it away. So I've got one of the 8x8 eight eight inch canvases here. Perfect. I'm going to pop some gloves on because it will get messy and oh there'll right. be a pair of gloves in each box as well. Oh, fabulous. Yes. And do we need to have a, a protective clothing of any sort? Clothes that you wouldn't mind <laughs> getting a little bit messy. Um, if you're careful, they shouldn't get on your clothes, but okay. you definitely want to be able to roll your sleeves up. Perfect. Um, and gloves are quite essential. Right. So I've got my pouring medium here. I'm going to mix one up for you to show you. This is the metallic copper. It's beautiful. And so that, I'm going to. Uh, that's on a soft body acrylic. Yes. So I'm going to pour a good amount into this and pop some pouring medium in. Generally, you'll want about one part paint to four parts pouring medium. Right. And, and if, for instance, I didn't have any pouring uh, uh, soft body acrylic, yes. uh, I had any traditional acrylic paints, could I use it? We have had success with thicker bodied acrylics um, watered down it, or with oh, more pouring medium. That's, yeah. So if that's what you have at home, the um, two litre, the larger sets, you'll need more pouring perfect, medium. Perfect. So go for a pouring, uh, the larger, yes. the more generous. Yeah, because it'll just take a bit more to get it to the right consistency. Okay. And you just want to stir it really nice and gently. Try not to add too many air bubbles in there. If you pick up the spoon and see lumps coming off of yeah. your pouring medium and your paint mixture, keep mixing because that will be on your canvas when it dries if you don't mix it through. And it's like the consistency of a very light butter. No, like I would be that uh, cream. Yes. You know, that, the um, double cream. A kind of thick double cream. I'm going to add a tiny bit more paint just to thicken this up. Um, but this one I'll show you is a really great consistency. When you oh, drop yes. it in, it leaves a little bit of a trail, a little bit of a bubble, and then it goes back smooth again. Well, not a bubble, a sort of pile. See, for me, that's the consistency of a Spanish hot chocolate. <laughs> Perfect. Very melted chocolate. Yeah, nice and thick. Melted chocolate is a great yeah. consistency to go for. So nice and gently mix those up. If you go for the starter kit with the A3 canvas, mix it up really nice and slowly because you don't want to use all of that pouring medium on just one colour. That's a very good point, yeah. So you mix the different colours as you go along. Yes, um, I'd normally recommend anything from kind of four to six colours per canvas. Perfect. For a small one I'm going to use five, um, but that's all you really need. And once I've got this mixed up like this, I'm going to go for the silicone oil and just pop in 
good few drops. So about 20 drops maybe? or That 10? was only about five. Oh, uh, right. It's um, not too many at my all. My eyesight needs uh, checking <laughs> out. Um, if you ever put too much silicone in, it might just thin the paint okay. a little bit. Um, and you'll notice that on the sides of the canvas, but generally you'll still I mean, get great results. I mean, this is a testament to social distancing. We are so <laughs> yeah. far away. I was you looking, can't I couldn't see, the see drops it. From that That's distance. my excuse, I'm almost sticking to it. So then we're going to use the special cup that comes in the full kit. Yeah. And okay. this has the holes in the base. We're going to pop it in the middle. Okay. And I love this. It's one of the easiest techniques you can do. I'm just going to pour my paints into that cup. Oh. And you'll see them come out and they look stunning. That's so oh. satisfying to watch that. Yeah. Comes yeah. out like a sort of psychedelic <gasps> 70s flower. It's very exciting. You definitely want to make sure that the paints aren't too thick because coming through the holes, that can sometimes just make it a little bit slow. Oh, that is so... Look at that, how it's pouring on the sides. It gets better. Oh, that's good. Look at ah, the cells yeah, forming there we as go. well. And you can really see all of those little tiny bubbles, those yeah. circles, that's all our cells forming. That's beautiful. Yeah. That looks like a Gothic cathedral. <laughs> uh, you know, the beautiful windows. Mm. Uh, yeah. Look at that. And then just keep adding your colours. I'm going for kind of blue and yellow on this one. Oh, that's gorgeous. And it's the silicone oil that really gives it all that detail. And but it's there, so easy. Is there anything wrong that we can do at this point? Or at this point, no. As okay. long as your paints are mixed up nice and smooth, that melted chocolate consistency, you can't go wrong. It's just, I'm like, yeah, I can't go watch <laughs> this all day long. I'm like, it's very satisfying to words. watch. If the cup ever starts to really fill up, just stand back, let it come through and onto your canvas. I'm going to put oh, some more on. Okay. Is this, I also I kind of see like kind of flower power from the 70s. Yeah, definitely. You know. This. And oh, just keep going that. from there. Also, I'm thinking of uh, like if, for instance, somebody's a scientist, like a biology yeah. or a marine science or something like that. That kind of is you can that see that as a sort of inspiration yeah. as well. And of course, depending on the colors that you use, yeah. the effects will be different. And for these sort of smaller size canvases, once the paint starts to reach the edge of the canvas, yeah. you've got about enough on there to start tipping. Okay. I'm just going to let the cup drain through for a few seconds and then we'll take that off and tip right. from there. Yeah. Now, we can show some other samples if you want to. Yeah. Uh, I can do that as well. Now, uh, we, can we come closer to these? Uh, well, I'll, I'll bring it in because <laughs> I want to show it. Like the whole thing. Isn't that amazing? It's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, look at that. I mean, it's the waves of yeah. the sea. And once you get larger, you can use loads of cups. You can really play with all the different techniques on, on the one canvas. How long did it take to make? It's not that long at all, because you see how fast yeah. I'm making this. They take about three days to dry, maybe longer for the large one. Now, I and what about, um, so for instance, how long it would take to dry after once you have done it? So. About three days, it okay. can, depending, on the, depending on the weather and the warmth and the heat, wherever you're letting it dry, um, about three days. Three days. Um, you'll notice on... And we have... Oh, look at that. Yeah. The yeah. canvases that I've got, I've just popped little nails in the back of That's them. That's cool. Uh, that yeah. helps keep it off of the table and it drips and then it won't get stuck to your table. Once you're finished, pop those out and it's ready to go on the wall. Oh, that's a, that's a cool technique. Yeah. I love that top tape. That's so, so rather than kind of, you can pop it up on cups, but extra ease, pop some nails in the back and you're good to go. No, that's, that's a brilliant idea. Yeah. Now, the other question I have is all that beautiful paint that is pouring yes. into the, can, can we use it at all? Yes. Um, if you've got a really nice smooth plastic on your table as a sort of table covering, yep. a nice thick bin bag um, is ideal. Yeah. Um, once you let that dry, you can use that and we've actually put it in resin jewellery. Oh, um, that's so cool. So you can cut it out. It'll dry nice and smooth, just like your canvas. So it will become like a, a skin, acrylic yes, skin. Yeah. Exactly. Um, 
and it'll peel off and you can pop it into your jewellery. Oh, that's amazing. I mean, in the shape, I mean, I have to credit the director <laughs> for that. It looks like a Russian uh, doll at the it minute. It looks stunning. Does, it? So at this no, point sure. now, I'm yeah. just going to take the cup off yeah. nice and smoothly. Try and avoid dripping on it just for this technique. Oh. Take that away. Look at that. And we're just going to tip the canvas and just gently, gently take it all the way around the canvas, spread that paint around, and you get that really amazing yeah, it's flower gorgeous. in the center. I mean, uh, you could, if I let it dry like this without yes. turning around, yes. would it keep the, the rounded lines? Yes, um, you just want to make sure that the paint isn't always too thick. Okay. So if you wanted to let it dry without tipping it, I'd maybe have just put less paint through at the beginning. Right, so that, that it's not sense. as thick on this yeah. in the center because I've got loads on here to cover all it those is. corners. I mean that looks like Elsa fireworks. Yes. Thing in. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely Some stunning. Huge explosion of colors. It's really Good. exciting. And you used just five colors, didn't you? Yes, I used about three blues, um, a copper, and this. A and the yellow. Yeah, 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 yeah it's lovely. Color. And so the, the the pouring medium will not diminish the metallic nature no, of the No, it doesn't take paints. away any of the vibrance of any of your colours. Um, it just helps that it become more li loose and liquid and to help it flow over the canvas. That is gorgeous. It's absolutely amazing. So you gently turn it around. Just to gently take it to the corners. I use my fingers just to help guide it to the edge. But if you've got loads of paint on there, it's not normally a problem. Look and at just that. Like that. And I love how the edges are just as beautiful yeah. as the main piece. If you front. ever struggle with cover the, covering the edges, yeah. as you can see, you've got loads of paint <laughs> on your table. You can just scoop it up, touch that corner. And that's it. Let's and drag it down, and then it's perfect. That's beautiful. And then we'll just take it to this last one. Now, once it dries, um, you know, do we need to cover it with any sort of protection or anything like that? Not at all. All of these have just dried as they were. As they were. Um, they've been framed, some of them, um, and they've been hung up, but they look beautiful as they are. They've not been coated. You can, if you like, experiment um, with different coatings. We've resin coated a few, which is stunning and glossy. Um, but they look amazing as they, they are. are. Now, and I'll, of course, no, n never two are going to be the same. No, are <laughs> never. Um, you couldn't ever do a sort of series of ones that are exactly the same. Um, but that's that your kind of holy cup, colander cup, we've called it. And you can see as it's spread around that those cells have just kept growing and kept Wow. enhancing what's on that canvas. It looks like mi a mineral rock. Yeah, and you can kind summer. of see some of the shimmer of the copper, but when that dries, it'll it look will. beautiful, just like the one behind you. Yeah, that is amazing. And uh, Well, I will let you to reset. Thank is you. That, is that a good time? Yes, but, yeah, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Now, isn't Dina great? And of course, you can achieve those results as well at home. What you need is to go for one of the kits and then put some acrylic paint that you may have already at home. We have got the starter kit in front of us and that it gives you enough pouring medium, enough silicone oil to cover the canvas that comes with it. You are getting instructions as well and you can see them here. And you have got that A3 as canvas and you will be able to cover it all up. And I love how, ev you know, Dina has even given you, um, you know, the nose paper. So you can write exactly which colors you use, or top tips, maybe you, you know, things to remember. But you look at, look at it. Want to try something different? Time to go, everything that you will need as well in there. And of course, all printed in the beautiful color. And maybe you will end up something like doing something like this, something with those beautiful pinks and purples. Remember, it's up to you what colors acrylic paints you are using. But what this pouring medium is going to do is give you the ability to use your metallic acrylic paints, your beautiful washes of color. And the silicone oil included in here is going to give you the creation of those cells. How gorgeous is that? Maybe you want a pop of color into your um, you know, living room. Maybe you want to create something smaller, maybe for the staircase. That is up to you what you're using. But the starter kit is giving you the A3 canvas so you have got that ability to try it on a bigger scale if you want it. £14.99 is all the all your pain if you're a freedom member. If you are not, you just pay PNP on top of it. We are already our... Uh, 
So over 20% of the stock uh, already gone. Uh, 327241 is your item number. Now, if you wanted to go for the pouring medium, we have got uh, that set of two bottles. So one two liters in total you are getting and you are getting also the silicon oil and you're getting two of the 10 mil it is incredibly busy 40 percent of the stock of this bundle has already gone now this is the one that you are going to put your own pieces maybe you have got canvas boards maybe you have got canvases because obviously canvases is a great medium to work with but imagine the your favorite colors imagine just watching the cells forming imagine pouring the different techniques because remember there are different slightly different techniques every time and no two pieces are going to be the same you can use your metallics and look at the shimmer no loss of definition the vibrancy of the colors the metallic nature of the acrylic paints will still shine through it but look at the tininess of these cells how the texture it achieves although it's completely flat Spain, it has got that depth thanks to that silicon oil included in this bundle. Remember, you are getting two bottles in there of one liter, so you are getting two liters in total, as well as the two sets of the 10 ml silicon oil for 27 pounds and 99 pence. We are approaching half of the stock already gone, so grab yours by taking note of this number 096849 and check out your baskets. Now, maybe you are uh, somebody who, like me, that you like to get the complete kind of a complete set now this one is a complete just at paint pouring kit by 35 design a brand new company here at Ho Chan that you are getting five canvases so you are getting one of the lower uh, a4 plus I would say a4 plus size and then you are getting the one that I would say is a5 plus <laughs> <laughs> and then two of the 8 by 8 or 20 by 20 as well as full liter of the pouring uh, medium, as well as the silicone oil. But you also are getting the, um, you know, the spoons, the plastic spoons, so you can mix it up, so you don't have to look for those ones. The mixing cups, as well as the one that has got those holes in, and I'm gonna put it like this so you can see it, those holes in there. So that was the first technique that Dina showed us here at Hochanda, and you can do that as well at home by purchasing this kit, the, you know, the complete kit, just at acrylic paint remember any acrylic paint especially if it's soft body acrylic gel uh, gel mm, acrylic paint will work fabulously 30% uh, of the stock has already gone and remember you have got an option to flexi buy two interest-free payments of 22 pounds and 50 pence 913534 is your item number we're heading back to Dina to see more techniques awesome thank yeah. you so the next one that we're gonna do just as easy you really can't go too far wrong at all once again I'm gonna put my gloves on okay and um, well I suppose if you are doing a lot of pouring yes uh, you can just use the gloves through the through yes the I'd normally wear a pair of gloves wash my hands with them on and they're good to go again um, perfect because you've just washed them okay. um, but this cup no holes in the base okay. um, so this isn't going to come onto the canvas but I'm going to start to fill this up with some paint okay. and pouring medium mixture. And we're just going to fill this up. There is no kind of right or wrong order that you can do this in. You can play with the order and see what effect you get. So how long can we have our acrylic paint mixed with the medium for? before we pour it? So I tend to work these very quickly, okay. um, as you saw with the first yeah. one, but you can leave these paints out for a good few hours or so and come back to them. Um, you can have the paint on the canvas and come back to it. If I wanted to, I could still keep playing with this canvas. I could tip it um, and play with it and it would still keep moving. I can manipulate what Perfect. I wanted to yeah. see on top. Um, so you've got a good sort of 10, 20 yeah. minutes with them wet on the canvas. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to keep filling up this cup a little bit more. And then Just choose your favourite colours. Is there any colours that will not work well together or there is no rules? No rules. Okay. I've had some questionable colour choices <laughs> in my time. Um, Haven't we all? And they always come out looking pretty good actually. Um, yeah. So don't be scared of putting together a 
Now, we have got a question from uh, Charlotte. Uh, okay. And she's asking, uh, when do you know when to stop? When do you know when pain? to stop? Um, if, so for example, this one on the shelf just here, yeah. um, that was actually tipped an awful lot. So you see how it's kind of got the zigzaggy kind of curve shall to it? it? This one or that one? The yellowy one, the larger yeah. one. I'm going gr to grab it. And no. can you see the texture of that? It's really back and forth. Oh, yeah. That one has been tipped a lot. Ah, I see. So that one's been played with for maybe 10 minutes or so. Yeah. Um, and that's the effect that you'll get. But okay. So you can, you can do like a marbling sort of almost yes. effect. Yes. Yeah. Um, the point that you have to stop is the point that your paint stops moving. Okay. It's as free as that. Oh, all right. Um, so this cup here is ready to go. And what I'm going to do, if you ever drip on your canvas, just like I did, yep. it's not a problem at all. You're going to cover it over in just a okay. moment. So I'm going to take this cup, pop it on the table. The canvas is going to ah. go upside down, hold yep. the back, get a really good hold of the cup underneath, and we'll take it over. Okay. And then from there, you can let it sit just for a moment and lift it. Oh. And just let it drip a little bit. All those drips will give you so much extra detail. That's gorgeous. Now, I'm thinking a lot of uh, our, um, you know, our viewers uh, like myself are crafters, so I have got glitters at home. I've got die cuts and pieces. Can I put some of that onto, onto the now, into the acrylic pour? We have had um, people come to the workshops with all sorts of things. Um, we've had ladies come with crystals and things, and they'll tip their canvas until they're happy with what's on top yeah. and add crystals and glitter. Um, and because it's loose, um, and liquid at this point, it will go okay. into that mixture and the acrylic will hold on to those things. Um, depending on how large they are, a few might, might not keep, but generally you can do that um, and be as free with it as you like. Um, and it, they always look brilliant. And then now this has stopped dripping, pop that down to one side. I have to say, I love how the, the, the cup is looking I know, as well. I know, the cup look amazing? Yeah, it looks The table awesome. always ends up looking amazing too. Yeah. Um, so if you can keep what's on your table, use it later. Yeah, you get cool. some great pieces just from the leftovers. I love that. And then we're just going to tip. And is it any restriction? How, what sort of ages do you recommend it is from? Um, so most of our workshops are for adults, but we do get um, parents and children come. We've had um, all sorts of ranges of ages. We've had from around 11. Yep. Onwards. Onwards. Yeah. Um, and the kids really enjoy it. We've had birthday parties for 14 year olds and they love it and they make their own artworks for their room. And it's really rewarding if they're not a fan of art or they don't think they can draw um, or paint because you can draw and you can paint yeah. um, yeah. with these. I love that. Like, it's so mesmerizing. Yeah, it's great to watch. And I guess the pouring medium stops them from blending the colours. Yes, it really helps keep them um, separated yeah. and keeping the sort of... The markation, the mar yeah. proper demarcation. Um, and all of that detail so that, you know, your pinks stay pink and they don't become purple with that yeah, blue. Yeah, exactly. Um, you'll get a, an ever so slight amount of mixing, but generally yeah, it works cool. really, really well. You can just take that over. And just like before, oh look at that! Just cover the corner yourself. Look at, oh, look at that! It's amazing. That is, it's oh gorgeous. And it'll just keep moving. It's amazing to watch. It can be a bit mesmerising, even just watching yourself, and then it'll all come off. Try and keep your paint on for as long as you can. Look at that! Look at that. That's beautiful. And I love, look at that, there is like kind of almost that yeah, Air Force logo over there. <laughs> you know, you can just see the blue with the red, mm. yeah. Is that, is that it? The Air Force, yeah, RAF, yeah. Like there it is, yeah. <laughs> so if you did want to do themed um, pieces, you definitely can, because you can of just course. control what paint you put on there. Um, and if you play with different techniques, you could get... Um, yeah really well themed. Now our producer is seeing a face, our director is seeing a dog, I see a frog, 
<laughs> a bird, now it's a bird. It's just a kind of almost like, oh, I see, uh, oh, yeah, definitely can see the dog now. Bottom, no, no, I yeah. cannot see. You yeah, definitely yeah. can catch faces and yeah. eyes in all of these cells when they come in pairs, yeah. especially. This is, it's almost like kind of magical, like kind of, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's mesmerizing and it's yeah. so satisfying. Very, very satisfying. Just take your time with it. Yeah. And the cells that have been created, some of them are yes. super tiny. Yeah, um, it's really interesting because some of them grow, some of them don't. Um, so you can get a really amazing effect. And there's different art silicones available and they can all give you different effects. Yeah. Um, I love what ours offers. Um, yeah. They do. I mean, I, I have to say, I mean, I'm very impressed by uh, the clear demarcation of color, the beautiful uh, different sizes of the cells, the fact that the metallics haven't lost any of their luster. Yeah. You know, look at that. You can see at the minute that this up here is the gold, and you yes. can see a shine to it, but when it dries, it's so much more. It and then is. I think that one's just gone over the edge there. Because it doesn't dilute the intensity. It just no. keeps... The, their nature in, in yes. a way um, and you can just play and tip with tip this as much as you like um, but that's what we call our flip cup okay. because you have just turned your a cup flip upside cup. down yeah. it's a bit of a leap of faith sometimes <laughs> but um, it's gorgeous. yeah it's amazing um, fabulous do you want to fun. reset you need time for yeah yeah perfect These don't worry gloves now, aren't too clean <laughs> perfect well dina is uh, cleaning her uh, her little area and getting her set for the next demonstration we are going to have a recap of what she has brought us here uh, today at hochanda remember this is her first day here at hochanda with 35 design space and we have got a starter kit from them now you are getting a a3 canvas and you are getting the pouring medium in the right size to cover the whole area you are getting the instructions as well and the 10 mil of the silicone oil that is enough to cover the beautiful area you just need to put acrylic paints whether it's soft, bo soft body, ja uh, body acrylic paint which is the ideal one or maybe you can practice with whatever you have got at home but remember that you might have to add a little bit more of the pouring medium and you would be able to create something like that as a stunning and that this is kind of almost going into a Van Gogh painting with the skies and the kids this you know the sunflowers in here if I put it like that you can see a sunflower there and a beautiful starry night in there as well or maybe you are more reminded of the Klimt uh, you know artworks you know kind of that sort of uh, the beautiful uh, sparkle of gold that is so easy to achieve and is the whole process of developing, see, watching those cells being developed. And you can see in here the gold, even though it has been mixed with the, the gold paint, uh, still you get that intensity of metallic nature in there. You look at the red, look at the black, look at the pink. How perfectly clear are those colors? Totally, I can see the case here, the painting by the Klimt, or maybe, what about going for something a little bit more, mar maybe from the seaside, the deep sea, the ocean, the Mediterranean, the Caribbean, is the kind of, is the corals, is the minerals, but you have achieved that and you will be able to achieve that. The only thing that you need to do is, of course, the star kit and some acrylic paint. 14 pounds and 99 pence could be, um, you know, is the price for you for this star kit, three to seven, 241 is your item number or maybe you are you know you know that you like your pouring you like your acrylic paints and you want it mega you want well most people you know what are going for the mega you are getting 70 percent of the stock has already gone of the two liter paint pouring medium you are getting the two liters so one liter bottle so two of them and then you are getting the two uh, bottles of 10 ml silicone oil now this would be ideal if you like bigger pieces. If you want to do a canvas like, you know, even larger, that, that would be absolutely fantastic. Or maybe you want to kind of start as doing a smaller pieces, but you want to have the ability to bring even more colors into it. <gasps> I love that. This is like, you know, this is like a peacock sort of colleagues, isn't it? Uh, this is also the sea, like the, the river, you know, like a beautiful river uh, in the waters. Oh, this is like a pond life. I like that because it's like the, the white lilies, the water lilies in there coming out. 
this is kind of magical and is the abstract nature of that you're going to achieve. I absolutely love this kind of lava-like colors in here, the hot, beautiful colors, intense, passionate colors. But look at this one, then you're going to cool, but look at the copper. And that is a testament of the quality of this pouring medium, the that it hasn't lost any of the intensity of the colors. The metallic luster is still there, even it has been mixed with the medium. 27 pounds and 99 pence is the price for the two liters of the pouring medium and the two uh, of the bottles of the 10 uh, ml of the silicone oil, 27 pounds and 99 pence. We also have got, maybe you just want to go for one liter, of the pouring medium and we have got that option as well it is on the website 533-928 is your item number 14 pounds and 99 pence is the uh, uh, price and it comes of course with full instructions and of course ideas on what to do with it as well and techniques and top tips as well from Dina herself right and you might want to go for a complete kit because you want also canvases now you are going to get a full liter of the medium uh, of the pouring kit then you are getting the 10 ml of the uh, silicone oil. You are also getting the mixing cups, including the one with the holes in it. So for that technique that Dina showed us at the very beginning, as well as the mixing spoons, but you also are getting five canvases. I would say the A4 plus, because it's larger than an A4, you're getting two of the larger than an A5 size, kind of that sort of proportions, and then two of those eight by eights or 20 by 20 centimeters. And of course, you will be able to create something as stunning as this. You just put acrylic paint and remember soft body acrylic paint that will work the best. But if you have got other types of acrylic paint, you can use those ones as well. You might need to, you know, put a little bit more pouring medium or a little bit of water to dilute the acrylic paint. 9-1-3-5-3-4 is your item number. And remember, you have got a flexi buy option to payments of 22 pounds and 50 pence if you want to split the cost if not one of payment of 44 pounds and 99 pence is the other option and let's head back to Dina for another demonstration so this is one of my absolute favorite techniques um, I've started filling my cup up this is an a3 size canvas okay. so it's the starter kit size um, and for this this is a half pint cup and we want it to be full okay so it's gonna be a lot of paint right. but it's all very exciting yeah Look at that. Oh, it looks even now, it, it looks like a tree from the side. Yep. You can see a tree and then you can see the sun over there. You can see it's, <laughs> yeah, it's so exciting. It's, yeah, it's snow cap mountains. Uh, or so I'm just going to fill this right up to the top and then we'll be good to go. And we're kind of going from greens and yellows down to blues and blacks at the bottom. Um, ah. So you might be able to see that come through on the canvas at the end as well. And once this is full, we'll go. Look at that. And that copper is beautiful. The metallics come out beautifully. We have had a couple of emails, okay. and so uh, Anna Hewinson is saying, enjoying the, loving the program. Uh, sh um, she's asking, can the medium be used with acrylic inks? We so haven't used acrylic inks. Um, I possibly wouldn't recommend it just because of the thickness that the paint gives. Yeah. It helps thicken up that pouring medium. It Both. helps. Yeah. And inks are much more yeah, diluted. Get that viscosity. Whereas if you're putting inks in, it's a liquid. Yeah. It might be a bit too thin and a bit runny on your canvas. Perfect. So that I hope that answers your question. And if not, why not experiment a little bit? But you know the answer. And you can always send us a picture of what you do uh, with it. Uh, then we have got another question from Christine. Uh, Christine asks, does the silicone oil and pouring medium, uh, do they have any aroma, a smell? No. Um, you might get a faint smell from the silicone oil. Um, the pouring medium is pretty scentless. Have a sniff. <laughs> um, yeah, well, it's, it's, it's just a basically, if you know the smell of a acrylic paint or acrylic uh, sort of expensive glue or something like that, that sort of is, it's just that, it's not, it's not. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's not really got smell. too much of a yeah. scent. The silicone smells a little bit of what you would expect of silicone if you have a silicone baking mat, something along those lines. 
uh, but nothing too strong. Nothing too strong. Uh, I mean, sort I, of I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I cannot open it. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to open it. Use That's this one. a sign that I should. It's got open a kind it. of child lock to it, so it yeah, doesn't Ooh. get in the wrong hands. Yeah, child lock. That doesn't work for me. <laughs> uh, is it necessary to use these products in a well ventilated area? Asks Christine. No, that shouldn't be a problem at all. It doesn't let off any um, toxic sort of fumes toxic or? fumes. The smell is completely non-offensive if at yeah, all absolutely. as well yeah, I can. Um, it's not going to be a problem that like i said before they'll take about three days to dry but it shouldn't leave a scent wherever okay. you leave those wherever okay. you're working thank that you. shouldn't be a problem yeah. so thank you i hope it answers your questions um i'm going christine yes. um okay. so this is full yeah. we're ready to go um, this is one of my favorite techniques. Okay. This is what we've called an agate pour. Um, and a lot of the ones that we have around oh, um, are this kind of style, um, particularly the one just in front of yourself. Okay, so let's have a look. So that's an And agate. you get those beautiful lines. We named it the agate style to be vaguely along the lines yeah. of looking like an Absolutely. agate slice. Um, so what I'm gonna do, we're gonna pour from the top, different again yeah. from the last. And I just go in circles. Oh. So it's a, sp a spiral sort of thing. Yes, all the way down the canvas. You can get a kind of seascape effect from this, your agate slice. It's a really beautiful technique to try. It is. And then I'll pop the cup down. And then again, just backwards and forwards and spread that paint out. You want to keep it on the canvas as long as you can. Try not to tip it yeah. all the way away from you and let it all come off or all the way towards you and onto your floor. That's the only times. That is absolutely stunning. It can be a bit out of hand. Yes, of course. They're beautiful. Look, uh, so you're just tilting gently. Yes. Easing the paint. And you really can see all those cells coming through and all that yeah. detail. So basically, you are letting gravity drag the paint. Completely. And the silicone oil, that's going to be the one that forms the cells. Yeah. Oh, there is a ghost over there. <laughs> <laughs> that's absolutely stunning. That's gorgeous. I never said that to a ghost before, but... <laughs> and you can really see how I put in the cup, I put black at the base up to the yellows, the whites, and a tiny bit of black on top. And that's how it's come out yeah. in the line. There's, that's a, a look at that. Now, uh, one of our floor managers, Sharna, she loves dinosaurs. And I kind of think in that, that would be like if you have got a room for, you know, like kind of a child's mm. bedroom or something like that with dinos like a dinosaur inspired. That would be so cool to choose the colors and yeah, create canvases with the child as well and having some decoration like that. It's just because you can be as playful with it as you yeah. like. You can go kind of minimalist and neutral colours, yeah. or you can be super creative, go for your kid's bedroom, get yeah. those bright Look colours in. And those lines as well there. Oh my. It's just good. Now, what would it happen if we put silicone oil, a, a couple of droplets on top of that? Would anything happen? So especially if you could put some of the silicone in a tiny little spray bottle, yeah. that's when you'll get amazing effects because wow. you'll get tiny droplets. If I dropped it from the bottle as it is now, it would be too a big bit. a droplet. Mm -hmm. If you can put it in a little spray bottle at home, that's Fabulous. when you'll get amazing effects. Um, and you can get a kind of crackle effect, crackle finish look Ooh. on the top, or you can keep um, tipping it and you'll get this really amazing texture and lines to what you're making. That's incredible. So, so there is a lot more that you know we can experiment with. So much experimentation you can do. And do you usually do a session when you do several canvases? Yes, so at um, our normal paint pouring workshops that we run, um, you would expect to make, very similar to what I've made just here, um, a s two smaller size canvases. They're normally the 18 by 24 or the 20 by 20 centimetres, the 8 by 8 inches, um, and an A3. Yeah, wow. And it gives you a really good start. Okay. Um, but you can get so carried away. When I'm doing it alone at home, I'll make as many as I can. <laughs> now, I'm thinking also, because uh, we were talking before the show, and uh, we were talking about what, what crafts we did, and I started sewing, and I'm thinking, could I do, for instance, you are doing that onto a canvas, yes. and then can I be brutal and remove the canvas, yes. which is right, from the, um, you know, the wood? Yes. 
And then use it for sewing or something like that? Yes, we had a textile artist actually come to one of our sessions oh, okay. and she did exactly that and made some beautiful pieces. Oh, cool. um, so definitely you've got the opportunity like a tote to do bag that. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, they're really, really brilliant quality canvases. Um, so they will withstand quite a lot. Um, they're really brilliant. Oh, fabulous. So there is a lot more as well. I'm thinking also to do, you know, like, um, uh, you know, like a sofa, not, not a sofa table, like um, uh, a table for the dining room, coffee table, yeah, coffee table. So you put that and then a glass on under the top. Yeah, would be stunning. I know. Because I mean, you could do it straight on the coffee table, screw in some legs, pop glass on top. And that, I mean, that would be so amazing. Can you imagine? Then going every time that you put your coffee, that's like, yeah, I made that. I made that. That would um, be amazing. Um, it's got so many applications. We obviously use canvases. Canvas board are very easy as well. Um, how, how will it work on ceramic, for instance? You might have to be careful with ceramic. Okay. If it's um, a smooth top, yeah. um, similarly, like we said, it'll peel off of yeah. the plastic covering. If it's on a smooth surface, it might peel off. Of it might not get the sort of adherence that yeah. it needs um, to stay yeah, permanently. Yeah, I, 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 that makes a lot of sense. And what about metal? Possibly the same. It's it. Okay. Um, it depends if you've got a really textured metal, okay. potentially better. But smooth surface surfaces often Wait. won't hold the paint oh, um, and the pouring medium. Um, yeah. But I'm just thinking because sometimes like in, in the charity shops you can see those beautiful jars and things like that and I'm thinking well they're a little bit tatty but doing yeah. it also vertically I mean you do it and then you let it dry horizontally yes. and then you will have that kind of yeah, beautiful definitely. effect. Yeah um, If you wanted to paint pour onto something and then coat it you'd mm -hmm. have much more sort of potential Absolutely. for keeping it there. Um, uh, like I said before we'd cover things gesso. in resin and yes especially if you prime things with gesso and you've got all those opportunities that it would it should work for you yeah um, it's just all the experimentation really and look at that I mean I mean that is proper Van Gogh isn't it that you the Aren't gorgeous they stunning? golds and yellows and the blues and oh, it's just and also it's refreshing every single yeah. piece you have done is it's kind of almost liberating because yes. letting it run its course Fabulous. And you can play with them as much as you like. You can keep tipping it if you wanted that yellow all the way down here. That's you can amazing. play with them as long as you like. You've got so much freedom. Well, not as long as you like <laughs> until it stops moving. Um, but you've got a lot of freedom to play with them and yeah. see what, what you like and stop yeah. once you have them. Right. Uh, well, we are, can we ask, uh, do you have time? Uh, well, do you have uh, another quick demo? A very quick yes. demo. Right. So what we'll do is I'll do, sh uh, do some numbers yep. and you can reset for a quick Perfect. demo. Perfect. Perfect. Thank minutes. you so much, Dina. Isn't Dina amazing? We are just so happy to welcome her at uh, here at Her Chanda, part of our Her Chanda family now. Uh, now, of course, if you wanted to start a kit, if you are one of those ones that wa wants to start pouring, this is the kit for you. For £14.99, you are getting the A3 canvas perfectly you know selected by Dina so to make sure that it works with the pouring you are getting the uh, a smaller bottle of uh, the pouring medium but that's enough to cover the a3 piece as well you are getting instructions and you are getting the all-important um, silicone oil that creates the cells and maybe you will be able to create something like this a gorgeous absolutely stunning or what about uh, you know it's just amazing to have the ability to create something incredibly and unique but that does not require a time and you know honing on those skills the only skill that you need to have is to actually hold a cup of you know mixing paints and mixing your acrylic paints with the medium and just pouring it over and tilting it and seeing and watching and enjoying the process of those cells for me 327241 is the item number for the starter kit now very busy we are for the set of two bottles of one liter so you are getting two liters in total of the pouring medium it's the best seller of this hour and this is a testament as well as you at BU uh, Home, viewers at home because you you know maybe are already experienced pouring but you recognize the quality of the artwork that has been created with these amazing pouring mediums you're also getting the two bottles of 10 ml of the silicone oil that is what is going to be able to create those cells look at that i mean i'm completely impressed at the ability of these mediums to 
keep the consistency and the vibrancy and intensity of those colors. The way that the pouring medium allows the colors to navigate through the canvas, but not mixing the colors too much. So therefore, you have got still recognizable intense co colors, right? If you want to go for the two uh, liters and the silicone oil, 27 pounds and 99 pence is the price, 096849. However, you might want to just go for one liter of the pouring medium, which is that item that you see in the screens. And of course, it comes with instructions. Every single kit, you have got the uh, instructions and then we have got uh, finally the, the complete just add acrylic paint uh, kit includes five canvases including an A4 plus as well as a litter of the pouring medium the cups mixing cups one of them with the holes as well as the 10 ml of the silicone oil 913534 is your item number 44 pounds and 99 pence and let's kind of go back to Dina for that last demonstration of the day right so I'm just mixing up a tiny bit more paint for this canvas. Okay. And we're going to go a little bit rogue, a little yep. bit wild, and we're going to use two cups, which is what you might want to try on the larger canvases. So I'm going to mix up a tiny bit more gold for this. Yeah. Okay. And a few drops of the silicone in. All right. This one's going to... Uh, Hold on, oh, that's my that, one. That was a uh, bit this. A few drops in there. Yeah. Yeah, the, the child lock always, every the single time. The child lock plays with you, doesn't yeah. it? I just, yeah, I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, it's nice and, and safe, but exactly. they're not, well, they're not they're ideal. They're safe for my usage because I can never get to them. And then we're going to add some purple as well. Okay. okay. We have got about four minutes till the end okay, of the show. Okay, so I'm going to pop this cup just here. I've got a little bit paint of paint on it from yeah. taking the plastic off. Not a problem. It'll Look get covered. Oh. Look at that. And just pop all of your paints through there. Oh. Loads of gold at the beginning, but you can see it all coming through. Look at that. And then I'm going to start with another kind of non-holy cup. I'm going to go for the same colours. I love. And two cups. So this is what you're going to want to play with if you go for a big canvas. You can do this for any size, yeah. but especially if you're covering a, covering a big area, it's good to have multiple yeah. cups to play with. So we're going to keep la that one there, keep All letting right. it drain through. And then on this one, I'm going to go... in its spiral. Ah, so they are agate yeah. technique? Yeah, and you can even go around them and let them play with one oh, another. enveloping it. And then we're going to pick this up. <gasps> Love that. It's like a flower, isn't it? Yeah. I see, um, uh, yeah, d of our, uh, our producer sees a donut. I see one of those cakes, the, you know the German cakes? Like, um, the yeah, they're like upside down. <laughs> uh, but uh, we have got uh, Haley Smith getting ready for the uh, <laughs> uh, one day special uh, lunch. Uh, so she's, she's telling me what, but I cannot hear. So that's, that's okay. And you can play with these as much as you like. If you want to add paint at this point, if you wanted to put some black through here, you can do that. We're just going to play with that. I see like a faraway planet as well. Or a volcano. That's a volcano. It's the crater of a volcano with the hot lava yeah, pouring the over. Oh, look at that. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. And then we'll just take it down to this corner here. And look at all that detail from the silicone. It's incredible. The cup with the holes in does give you amazing cells yeah. on the canvases. It's a very unique finish. I love it a lot. Once uh, we have used it once, uh, do, can we clean it and use it the next time? Yes, that's what we would normally do at the workshops. We try and reduce our plastic waste and we always wash up the cups and reuse them. So Fabulous. definitely. Fabulous. So then it's not just one use. Uh, and can we just wash it with water and that's Yes, yeah, water fine. is perfect. Um, if you want to use washing up liquid, you can, but just water is absolutely Fabulous. fine. It's more than enough. Well, we have got uh, just about a minute to, uh, you know, to thank uh, you and Diana because it's been an incredible show. Thank you for having show. me. Uh, you have been an amazing uh, first time guest here. You, it's just like, it's amazing. Your pouring mediums are amazing. 
how you explain everything is amazing. If anybody goes for these, um, you know, has gone for this show, this uh, bundle, yes. how they can find more about you? Um, we are at 35 Design Space on Instagram, at 35designspace.co.uk, and we would love to see what you make as well. Uh, um, fabulous. So I'll send us your pictures. Yeah, tag them as well, uh, follow them, and of course, uh, be inspired by what Dina also um, makes with uh, amazing products. Right, I want to just show you a, a few more. Can I show this one? Because I don't think I have shown this one as close up. And you can see the depth of the colors. These pouring mediums will work with soft acrylic paints, but also you can use other acrylic paints that you may have you just need to maybe mix it up in a slightly different co uh, combination ratio but you can see the beautiful how they color dry with the intensity of color and luster there do check out your baskets to for amazing beautiful uh, pouring mediums and techniques thank you so much Dina thank you. hope you have enjoyed it yes it's been amazing it's <laughs> great to be here and show you what we make and I hope everyone makes great canvases thank at you. home thank you so much Dina